Okay, we have yet another trace table here. This time, this algorithm checks the temperature of hot food being served to customers. Okay, put a plate of food in so you can see we're talking about food. So we've got an algorithm, it looks really, really, really complicated. Lots of decisions, inputs and outputs, processes, all going on, wow. Okay, and a great big truth table, okay? This was seven marks, this, seven marks. So it is quite important, but it's easy. It is easy. So we'll go through it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, we've got to start with setting the counter, hot, cold, and serve all to zero. So when you think about that straight away, we're going to be doing some kind of, sort of calculation based, adding up, totaling, and um, different values. Okay. We're going to input the temperature. Is the temperature equal to minus one? Yes or no. Is the temperature greater than 86? Yes or no. Is the temperature less than 63? Yes or no. Serve equals serve plus one. Okay, back down. Update the counter. Counter. Okay, and then input the temperature. So going round around here until we've got some things where the temperature is too cold or the temperature, look at this, is too hot. Yeah, too cold, too hot. An error because the food must be frozen if it's minus one. Let's have a little look. Complete the trace table for the algorithm using this input data. 75, 78, 84, 87, 91, 80, 75, 70, 65, 62. There is a minus one in here, okay, which we'll throw out, yeah, down to the end. So 20 is probably not going to be used. So let's have a little look. Counter. So we're going to put in, okay, counter, so that's zero, zero. Zero, zero. Okay, that's that bit. Okay, we don't need to use that bit again. Done. Okay, looking at this loop. Input the temperature. Okay, 75. Well, because I've done that and I've omitted it, okay, it's not going to be used anymore. I'm going to leave this row as it is. I'm going to keep that there. Okay, but I'm going to put in here on the next line 75. You'll sort of see why in a moment. 75. Is the temperature equal to minus one? Of course it's not. Is the temperature greater than 86? No. No. Is the temperature less than 63? No. Serve equals serve plus one. Okay, so serve is serve plus one. I put a one in there. So it looks like we can serve that dish because it's the right temperature. That's from thinking, that's from guessing. Okay, background, counter has been assigned the value counter plus one. Okay. Back up to this, input temperature, 78 this time. I think we've got a pattern coming. Minus one, no. Greater than 86, no. Less than 63, no. Looks like we're going to serve that one. So, two. Yeah, two. What have we got now? 84. Okay. 84. Is it minus one? No. Is it greater than 86? No. Is it less than 63? No. And so we're going to go round and round again. So done, done, done. 87. Now that's greater than 86, so let's have a little look at that. Let me pull the number. 87. Okay. 87. What does that mean? So is the temperature greater than 86? This is 87. Hot equals or it's been assigned a value hot plus one. So here, we'll put a one in there. Output too hot. Too hot. Okay, on my word. Then from there, it's coming back around counter equals counter plus one. Five. Okay, so there's one we haven't served. Okay, we didn't serve that, that meal. That meal was too hot. So we can see sort of what's happening now. Okay, we've got another one here, 91. Okay, which is going to be higher. Yeah, input in the temperature. Is it greater than? Yes, it is. So hot gets assigned hot plus one. Output two hot. Okay. Background, counter, equals counter. So I'm just looking at this and thinking, I've 
got a little bit wrong there, haven't I? So, <laughs> you're not allowed to use TIPEX in exams, but please, if you make a silly mistake like that, I basically not been able to count numbers. Okay, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. And in fact, we'll leave six. It looks like it's going to count up. I'll leave six there. Yeah, count three plus count plus one. Input the input the temperature. So we've done that. We're back onto it looks like normal numbers now. Okay. So this is just going to go through. It's not greater than 86. It's not less than 63. So serve equals serve plus one, which is going to be four in there. Okay. Counter equals counter plus one. Yeah. That was, that was my six. Okay. Yeah. Input the temperature. So we're now on 75. Yeah. 75 I think this is going to be a good number. Yeah. It fits in between this sort of range here. So I can set my serve to five. Okay, come back around to seven. Okay, now I've got 70, exactly the same. Okay, I'm going to serve another dish and set up to eight. Okay, 65. Okay, 65 again, seven. Okay. We're on 62. 62 is less than. So let's put it in here. 62. Okay. Input the temperature. Down to here. Is the temperature less than 63? Yes, it is. So, yes. Cold. Okay. Equals cold plus one. Output to cold. Okay. Background. Yeah. Counter equals counter plus one. 10. Okay, and then finally, yeah, input temperature minus one. Okay, what's that going to do? Is the temperature equal to minus one? Oh my word. We've got an error value. We've got error down here. Yeah, error equals hot plus cold, two plus one, yeah, which is three, divided by the counter, which is 10. Okay, times 100. I think we've got a percentage that equals, must equal to percentage. Okay, so 3 divided by 10 is obviously 0 0.3 times 100 equals 30 percent. We've got too cold, we've gone to minus 1, we're just going to output, yeah, output error. Ah, sorry, not output error. I thought I was going to say output error there. Okay, so we've got 30%. It doesn't say 30% here, but I'm guesstimating that it's about percentage because that's an error, a percentage calculation. So what do we do? Output the error, which would be 30. Okay, error has been assigned the value 30. Yeah. And that is it. That ends the algorithm. Okay, so also that makes sense to you. These are, I mean, seven marks. It should really take seven minutes. So I don't know how long that took, but it's, um, yeah. Once you get into the rhythm, you see the pattern. That's where you've got to look for the pattern. Okay. So state how the final output from the algorithm could be improved. Um, well, it could, because we're doing percentages, it could say, it could say, how many meals were either served or not served. In the case of this one, meals were not served. And I'm going to put as a percentage E dot yeah, um, 30%. Okay, that's what I would do. And then it says, identify the process in the algorithm that is not required. Well, because we're using hot and cold, okay, and because we're using a percentage, i.e. we've put 10 items in here, we've discovered that three of the items were not served, i.e. 30%. We know here that 70% of the items must, 70% of the items must have been served. So do we really need this? Do we really need this column here? 
Um, I'm going to put we do not need to serve. E.g., I'm going to put the process box on serve has been assigned serve plus one. We don't need that because we, we, we can work that out from this. Okay, so we really, we don't need that column at all. I cross that out. Don't put that on because you might get a um, mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven marks for each of the columns. And that's it. Take those off. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Good, long question. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.